So vagrancy is kind of an ugly word. What, what are we really talking about? So vagrancy laws originate in Elizabethan England in the 16th century. They have their roots going back even further than that. And originally, vagrancy laws were intended to make sure that everyone who could work would work. So they made it a crime to be poor and idle. But over time, they varied and they came to criminalize lots of other kinds of people. They criminalize being a specific type of person, being dissolute or immoral or idle, right? Really vague concepts that give the police lots of, of uh, flexibility. And they make it, most of our criminal laws say that you become, you, you are convicted of doing an act. <laughs> Vagrancy laws say you are convicted for being a kind of person, which means you can be arrested on sight at any moment. And second, they're really vague. What does it mean to be immoral? What does it mean to be dissolute? What does it mean to wander about with no apparent purpose? That means that police can use them all the time. So even though originally they were really about poor people, they come to be used for all kinds of purposes. They come to be used for preventive policing. If someone seems suspicious but you don't have probable cause, you arrest them for vagrancy and then you investigate. Uh, they come to be used against racial minorities, religious minorities, uh, gay men and lesbians, beatniks and hippies, women and prostitutes. So anybody who seems at all out of place in any way becomes a target of vagrancy laws. Difference often seems dangerous. In the 1950s, if you weren't wearing a suit and you were a man or you didn't have the right kind of hat, that indicated something about your social class, right? If you wore a beard, it suggested that you might be a beatnik and that suggested you might be doing drugs. So it's not that there's a sharp line between social control and crime control. The police have long seen their job as straddling that line uh, and the criminal law has been part of how we enforce social norms and behaviors, not just how we make sure that everyone is safe.